PQRSTV is a regular polygon of size 7 cm inscribed in a circle. So the polygon is inscribed in a circle. Find the circumference of the circle PQRSTV. We are told to find the circumference of the circle PQRSTV. <clears throat> now the question here just tells you to find only the circumference of the circle PQRSTV. And from the problem statement, we have that PQRSTV is a regular polygon inscribed in a circle. So let's have a circle first. So let's say this is our circle. This is our circle here, and we've been told that the polygon PQRSTV is inscribed in a circle. That is, the polygon here of side 7 cm is inscribed in the circle. So let's draw our polygon in the circle. So this is the polygon you have here, and it has been we've been told that um, the label of the polygon is the label of the vertices of the polygon is PQRSTV. So let's label let's label our polygon P. Q R S T and V. So each of the vertices have this label P Q R S T V. And we've also been told that it's a regular polygon, that is, each of the sides of um, the polygon they are equal. And they said they have the length of seven centimeters. So that is from P to Q is seven, from Q to R is seven. From R to S, the length is 7. The length from T to S is 7. From V to T is also 7. And while from P to V is 7. Now I'm done with that. Now, <coughs> we've been told to find the circumference of the circle. Now the thing is, to find the circumference of the circle, we know that the formula for the circumference of a circle is given by C equals 2 pi R. Now 2 is a constant, pi is 22 over 7, but then how do I find my radius? Now it's going to become clearer when I dissect this polygon so we can see how we can find the radius. So let's join, let's join all the vertices of the polygon so that the whole problem looks more simpler. Now when you join all the vertices of, of the polygon, now what you'd observe is that since we've been told that the polygon is a regular polygon, so that simply implies that when you check the angle here from here to here, if this angle is x, then definitely the angle from here to here is going to be x, the angle from here to here will be x, the angle from here to here is going to be x, the angle from here to here will be x, and the angle from here to here would also be x. And that's because we've been told that it's a regular polygon. And then since we know that the sum of all points, the sum of angles at the points or in a circle is 360 degrees, it simply implies when I add up all these angles, I should have 360 degrees. Now let's add the points. So the first point we have here is, let's say you have x plus x, that's 2x plus x, that's 3x plus x is 4x plus x, that's 5x and plus x, that is 6x x. So that is 6x must be equal to 360 degrees. So to find x, I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So you divide by 6 and 6 in 360 degrees is going to give you 60 degrees. So our x is equal to 60 degrees. So that implies that each of the angles you have here, they have a size of 60 degrees. So here is going to be 60, here will be 60, here will be 60, here will be 60, 60, 60 degrees. This is the same for all of them. But our aim is not to find the angle of each of these, um, the size of each of these angles. But our aim is to find the radius because by the time we find the radius, then we can find the circumference of the circle. Now, how do I find um, the radius? So this is what we're going to do. Oh, this is the idea. Let me bring out one of these triangles. I'm going to bring out this triangle out. Let's bring this triangle out. So let me call this O. So I'm bringing out OTS. So when I draw that, you have something like this. This is what you have. So this is O, this is T, and this is S. And we know from the angle we have here, the angle here is 60 degrees. So here is 60 degrees. And then we know that the length from here to here 
so that is the length from from here to here is 7 so let me write that down this is 7 and another thing you notice that since this is a circle then from here to here must be the radius and then from here to here must also be the radius since it's a point from the center of the circle to the circumference so that tells us that what we have here is actually the radius so this is the radius and this is the radius now since this is the radius we know that this side must equal this side and then you recall if this side equals this side then that implies that this angle here must equal the angle you have here now that's the first step now the next thing you observe again is that the sum of angles in the triangle is 360 degrees now since we know that so that implies when i sum all the angles in this triangle i should obtain 300 i'm sorry the sum of angles in the triangle is 180 degrees sorry to say so that tells us when i add all the angles in this triangle i should have 180 degrees so let's sum them up so you have 60 plus you have theta plus theta and this should give you 180 degrees so that's going to be 60 plus theta plus theta is going to give you 2 theta equals 180 degrees so 2 theta is going to be 180 negative 60 degrees and 2 theta equals 180 minus 60 is actually 120 degrees so to find um, theta so I'm going to divide both sides by 2 you divide by 2 so 2 here 1 and 2 here 60 degrees so your theta equals 60 degrees so that tells me that the angle I have here is 60 degrees and the angle I have here is 60 degrees now what you'd observe here is that since the angle here is 60 the angle here is 60 the angle here is 60 so that tells us that this is an equilateral triangle and then we know that an equilateral triangle has all its sides to be equal so if this side is 7 then definitely this side must be 7 and also this side must be 7 so in other words I've been able to find that my radius is 7 cm and the question says find the circumference of the circle so I'm going to use this formula to find my circumference so the circumference of the circle is just simply c equals 2 pi so r and this is just equal to 2 times so pi is 22 over 7 then times so our radius has been obtained here to be 7 so this is 7 and then when we simplify this for that you have 7 here 1 and 7 goes here you have 1 so you'll be left with 2 times 22 and this is equal to 2 times 22 is going to give you 44 centimeter so the circumference of the circle is 44 centimeter and this is our solution